Now to America Decides and the Republican primary in New Hampshire now just four days away. There's new indication tonight that Republicans are closing ranks around Donald Trump. Our Caitlin Huey Burns has been crisscrossing the Granite State with the candidates. Donald Trump back in New Hampshire tonight with a major boost days before polls open, snagging the endorsement of South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Oh man, I'm so excited for the announcement tonight. That announcement is a setback for Nikki Haley with her home state senator rejecting his former governor. Haley is a distant second in the polls and she's taking the gloves off, challenging Trump to tell the truth. When Trump says that I'm trying to kill so Social Security, that is a lie. On social media, Trump has falsely questioned Haley's eligibility to run for president and refers to her Indian ancestry, mocking her first name, Nimrata, although she's used her middle name, Nikki, all her life. She was born in the United States. Do you think that the attacks that Trump is waging against you are racist? I mean, look, I'll let, the, I'll let people decide what he means by his attacks. What we know is, look, he's clearly insecure. If he goes and does these temper tantrums, he's insecure. He knows that something's wrong. I don't sit there and worry about whether it's personal or what he means by it. Oh, yeah. It's what? disgusting. Independent voter Dan O'Donnell says his vote for Haley is a vote against Trump. He asked Haley to assure him she would not join Trump's ticket as vice president. It's just, it's totally off the table. She told you it's totally off totally the table. Totally off the exact, very adamant, uh, totally well, off the table. Camp. Haley said today she's staying through the South Carolina primary, where Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to salvage his struggling campaign. As long as I'm in the hunt, um, that, that tells me that I have, uh, that I'm seeing a pathway. Tim Scott is the 25th senator to endorse Donald Trump. The former president now has the support of over half Republicans in Congress. The latest sign the party is rallying around his campaign. Nora. Caitlin Huey Burns there at an event tonight. Thank you.